God is still here. I'm so sorry I missed your call. I didn't see it ringing. Hmm? So, where were you? <sighs> Honey, I went to my auntie's place. You know, something came up. Oh, <sighs> God, I'm so tired. Well, it's alright. You're welcome. So, how was your day? <sighs> Honey, I am so, so tired. Ah, oh, you know how it is, all these people. The family pressure and all that is so much. <laughs> so tell me, baby, how was your flight back? Well, it was fairly okay. Just that uh, the weather wasn't pleasant. Oh. And you know how scary it can be up oh. there. I know, I know how it is. You don't need to tell me. Remember what happened the last time with you? I oh, know. And you, what are you doing there? Don't you have better things to do? I'm sorry. Jim, yeah. you can leave for now, eh? Okay, Thank you so much. God bless you. Oh, honey, I missed you so much. Yes, um, sweetie, I learned that uh, a cousin of yours came today. You see um, someone I know? Um, um, no, no, I, I don't think, I don't think you know him. You know, I don't even know him. Yeah, I've, I've never met him. This, this is my first time, you know, meeting him. Um, he's my late auntie's son. The one I told you that got married to an American, remember? You're a late auntie. Yeah. I can't remember. I don't think I know such a I don't think I've met such a woman. Um, oh God, what is wrong with my brain? Yeah, I, I don't think you, you, you met her before she died. No, you did not. Honey, do you know sometimes I am so worried as in, I'm amazed. I don't even know how many we are. Because so many people walk up to me introducing themselves to be one of my distant relation, my sister, my cousin. Oh, God. Honey, it is so much. Sometimes it's so frustrating. But never mind. Uh, on the other hand, I don't blame them. Because if I wasn't married to a rich man, you know they won't remember me. You know now. <laughs> it's alright. Honey, that um, shouldn't bother you so much. Uh, you see, <clears throat> a prayer is that God will continue to bless us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know. Um, why don't you join me in coffee? Honey, what is this now? Eh? So you've not eaten anything? Who would be there to cook for me? Oh God, honey, don't worry, baby. I'm here. Yeah? Let me just drop it this. I'll make something delicious for you. <laughs> you know me. I will see. I know. I'm coming. I am lucky. <laughs> I know you have a lot of things on your mind right now. You, you want me to explain. The car, the late nights. Let's just, let's just start on a smooth note, okay? How was work? Work was good. Okay. You, you look tired. Yes, I am. Are you pissed with me? Why should I be? Come on, Frida, I saw your miss call. I don't remember calling you. Listen. I know I hurt you, alright? And I'm sorry. And I know exactly how you feel. I have to go to bed now. If you're hungry, there's food in the kitchen. 
And if you want to sleep, your room is always here. Without a man in her life. Her appetite for sex is just too much, too, too much. And that means danger for me. I just have to do something in time before I will just go out of existence like that. sister called me and you know why? Why? She has been delivered of a baby girl! So Thank God. God. Baby, come on, why are you like this? What is it, man? Just smile, tell me you're happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you too. Jessica is there to see you. Jessica? Okay, ask her to come Okay, sir. Do you know the room number? Sure. Feel free to go in. Thank you. Well, <laughs> whoever plays the pipe.
Lord. lose this contract or something. Welcome. Where is Jane? The backyard. Okay. Oga Philip, what are you doing here by this time? Knowing fully where that Oga and Madame are now. I know both of them are not around. You see, I came here because of you. Because of me? Um, yes, you see, this is the only opportunity I can have to be with you one on one. No, no. Has it ever occurred to you that I like you so much? I like you. See, I know you know I want to get married, but you see, it's not working out. You know why? No. Because if I get married to the lady I want to get married to, I'll be making a very big mistake. Yeah. Why are you telling me all this now? See, I've watched you closely. You're a very hard working lady. And that's the kind of woman I want in my life. Thank you. Um, Jeno, has it ever occurred to you to go back to school? If I have the opportunity. If you have the opportunity. Okay, don't worry, we'll work it out. We? Oui? You see, I want you to take me as a very good friend. Your very good friend. Huh? No, don't worry. I know you're scared. I know you're scared, but don't worry. When the time comes, I'll tell Oga, madam. Yeah? Jane, Jane. Don't worry, it's okay. Yeah? Sweetie, I need about 10 million naira to help me start my own business. And I can assure you that your money, your investment will be intact, very profitable because I intend to make you my partner. You know what, David? What? It's not losing my investment that matters most to me. What's your problem? It's protecting you from other women. Then, sweetie, then marry me. Just marry me and we can sort all of this out. Prove to me that I can trust you, and I'll give it a thought. Well... Really? I just want you to know that you're very important to me. You're very dear to my heart. And you can always count on me. You know... People around me might think that I am happy in my husband's house. But I'm not. And why is that so? For six years now, I've been married to him without an issue to call my own. Do you know how that feels? And I think it's his fault. I strongly believe that.
sorry about you and your husband. I am. But like I said earlier on, you can count on me. Okay? I'll always be there for you. And to prove that, I will be your personal waiter. I'm gonna get you something cold to drink. So, okay? David! David, you fall! Hello? Yeah, um, hello? Can I talk to Jeff? Jeff? This is not Jeff. Who is this? Um, my name is Yuka. May I please speak with Jeff? Sorry, wrong number. You name it. So, you own a boutique? No, I'm a designer. You know, I am ready to launch my clothing line and my cosmetic products. Okay, well, you know, I'm sorry. I'm not into modeling. I know. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. You know, what I'm actually thinking about is creating my clothing line and my cosmetic line after you. Zainab. How did you even know my name? Well, it's like that. You see, when you are interested in something, or somebody for that matter, you take interest in just knowing a lot about the person. Am I correct? <laughs> well, uh, okay, so I'll see you around. personal way that
Wow. She needs a lot of rest. She has really been through serious stress and depression. Could you hear you tell me something that triggered the shock? Shock? Yes, doctor. Shock. Doctor, I don't know what really happened. Eh, perhaps she has to wake up to tell us herself. She's under seductive for now and antidepressive drugs. We need to observe her for a while. Doctor, please, these drugs, are they going to affect her job? Mm, depends on her. If you ask me, she needs some time off. And someone who is really close really needs to be around to observe her. All right, doctor. Thank you. She will be okay when she wakes up. Excuse me. I think it's safe for you and I to be staying out here like this. Don't worry about that. I can take care of myself, okay? Let's go. I know, I know, but you won't mess things up before we actually get things started. Like I care? I am ready to walk out on my husband like right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be so sure. We still need your husband. At least we get the business started. When the business picks up. Oh, that. There we go. Okay. I'll be careful. Good. And uh, I don't mean to sound desperate, but how do I get the money? Um, just send me your account details, and I'll withdraw the money and paste into your account as soon as possible. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. I feel so happy right now. I, I wish I could just kiss you. you know, but I know I can't. Me too, but... We don't have to raise an eyebrow, you know that. But even at that, I think I can still a little bit. The whole house has become so lonely. Oh, no, Elfrida, you've got to stop this. For God's sake, you didn't even know this guy from anywhere. You should be thanking God that he just left the way he came. Inka, you don't understand. No, I don't. But one thing I do understand is the fact that you need to take your medications and have some rest. I'll be fine. So, are you sure you'll be able to stay alone or do I need to sleep over? No, no. Just go home and rest. Inka, are you certain that you called this number and somebody else picked? Please, sweetheart. You don't need this now. I think I need to go now. See, listen. Don't think that I don't understand. I know what it means for you to have affection for someone and things are turning out this way. But you've got to be strong. Please. Alright. We've got to go now. Ciao. Thanks. You know, I'm very interested in your line of business, so why don't you tell me more? My line? Did you... Did you mean to say our line? Okay, fine. Our business? Our business. There you go. Our business. You know, like I told you, I want to call it Zayn. You know, I told you that earlier on. And I can already see it uh, being huge. The name is... Uh, Catchy, it's urban. I see. The... Well, you know what? Let me not. Let me not even go into that. I think I like Zainab as a person better. But you hardly even know me. That's the interesting part. You know, you are a very intriguing person. You are captivating. You're gorgeous. You smell good. Yeah. Okay, let me let me put you aside. Can we talk business? Mm. Alright. I can see Zainab as a business going far into the future. You know, in the next two years, I can see being so huge. Having showrooms in the major cities within Nigeria and possibly even neighboring countries. 
Maybe we could just start off like three shows. One in Lagos, one in Abuja, and Ghana, Accra. So Accra, Lagos, Abuja. We can start off with these three. And I've already done all the calculations. It will take us, you know, some amount, but we're talking about about 500 million naira. Should make it all happen. And before you know, boom, it's working, profitable. Zainab, are you with me? Yeah, sorry, I, I was just thinking about what you just said, you know? You keep saying we. Well, I'm also trying to figure myself shuffling between Accra, Lagos and Abuja. But it's thrilling, you know? Thrilling, that's it. You know, you must be thrilled. You need to enjoy what you do to be on top of your game. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, I'm, I'm very fashionable and I'm also into designer clothes and accessories and all of that, so. So I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. Choosing you as my partner. Partner? Yeah. Partner. You're my partner. Partner. <laughs> <laughs> And, and that makes me the CEO, and you are the boss, <laughs> the lady boss, right? <laughs> no, but on a, on a serious note, I think maybe one of our first challenges would be to find out what the youth are into. We, you know, you could do a feasibility studies. The, the affluent youth they spend a lot of money on fashion, so we need to find out their style, the, the trendy colors, fabrics that they want to use. You know, stuff like that. That is not you know? a problem. Because, you know, I've always loved to do stuff like that for my friends. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So, again, partner. <laughs> Yo. Uh, but, Zayla, let's, let's talk about it. You know, you as a person. I mean, I've given you, um, I've said a lot of stuff about you, but I want to get to know you some more. But um, can we talk about that somewhere else? Like where? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps your place? Why? <laughs> why not? Okay. <laughs> okay, Romeo. Welcome to my uh, little hideout. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Lovely. Orange, orange. My favorite color. Really? You got me. <laughs> lovely, lovely as the owner. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, why don't you get a drink here? I'll go inside. I'll be right back. Sure. What are you doing on my bed? I woke up asking myself the same question. You know? <laughs> this is crazy. How did it even happen? I don't know. Oh, I can just remember you asking for more and more and more and more. <laughs> I must have been drunk. Yeah, right. Drunk on me, right? <laughs> I feel so ashamed. On the contrary, I feel like excited, you know? I think you were great. You're the best. Well, you know, I think I enjoyed myself. Well, uh, it's a new day. I have to be leaving now. New day full of new challenges. So I'll be seeing you around, okay? Romeo, will I see you again? Would you even say that? We are partners, remember? You've forgotten so soon. Huh? You'll see me around, okay? You'll see me. Okay, let's see. Alfreda, I can't 
came to apologize about what happened. No, Jeff. It's not your fault. I was wrong. I mean, I did everything so wrongly. I guess I wasn't thinking right. It's all right. It's my fault. I shouldn't have left the way I did. No, Jeff. It's my own fault. I wasn't bold enough to admit what I felt for you. I feel the same here. I know I do. But I'm not ready to give my heart to a lady. Jeffrey. I love you. I love you so much. I'm not afraid to admit it. You don't know me. I know he'll be so excited to know that I've deposited the money into his account. I just want to see the smile on his face. I would like to see David from 101, please. Sorry. Really? What is the problem? You're not looking normal. Emanuela, I'm not normal at all. Alfreda is a fool. She has ruined a lifetime opportunity that we had because of a man. A man? I don't understand. You won't understand, Emmanuel. Just, just leave it. But just know that we lost a mega contract. You know, a contract that we had to furnish a whole business complex. We lost it. Just go, just so you won't understand. Just, just leave it. It's just unfortunate. Um, I had no idea that you'd be so hurt. Would it have made any difference? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Tell me about this new job of yours that you want to at your time. You will not believe it. I ran into an old friend and he just introduced me to his boss. The boss sort of, you know, likes me, you know, and he, he just offered me a job on the spot. Give me a car, good position. You will not believe it, it's God's sense. I mean, one in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. It's so obvious you're going up. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yinka doesn't like me, right? <sighs> Jeffrey, she's only being protective of me. Besides, my not going to work made us lose a very lucrative contract. It did? Mm -hmm. Sorry to hear that. It's okay. Jeff? Any other woman in my life? Who is that? No, I don't have any woman in my life. It's just me. 
to the woman. I'm just trying to be the man, uh, my family thing I cannot be. I'm just trying to make ends meet. I found this really, you know, working hard to make sure that everything. Hello? David, where are you? Um, I, I, I'm sorry I left without telling you, you know, but I'll be there soon. I'm on my way back, really. I don't like being kept waiting, okay? Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Listen, I, I, have you paid in the, the cash? I, I need to do some rounds in town. I will be there just before you realize it. Yeah, yeah. I paid in the money. All I need right now is you. I, I will be there soon. Be before you see, I will just appear. Boom. And I'm on my way. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting. <laughs> Everybody says that all the time. He's got a very thin voice. Whenever they hear him, they say, Is he a woman? He's not a woman. Okay. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you do it, but I'm really not comfortable. And I want you to be so careful. Come on, trust me. Trust me. I'm fine. Okay. And just get back before this man, you know, is a new job. I need to make sure I have everything under control. Ah, stop calling me that. Huh? Stop calling me that. Anyways, I just got you these things just to let you know that I'm really serious about what I told you the last time. I know your mother won't like it, but I don't give a damn. Thanks. It's just that I'm worried. Wh wh why are you worried? I mean, who am I, eh? How do I know you're telling me the truth? I'm Jane. You see, God works in a mysterious way. And He really wants us to be together. That is why he made me discover that um, the lady I was meant to marry is sleeping with another man. Huh? And I know your madam is doing this thing too. Is she not your sister? Um, Jane, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. That man your madam introduced to you as her cousin, as her boyfriend. Go huh? for big bad thing. Hey, no wonder. I saw them kissing and she even gave him a car. Who told you that? Kanchawa told me now. Kanchawa told me that Madame bought a new car only for her to give it to that to that David of a guy. Kanchawa told you that Madame bought a car and yes. gave it to David. David. Yes, I saw them. David. Okay. Um, see, eh? um, just manage your things. You know, I just looked at your size and. I have to arrange these ones for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Alright, don't worry, I'll get you more. Eh? Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, Philip, what do you want? As I'm talking to you now, I'm somewhere enjoying myself. Hey, listen, if you don't have better things to say, just get off the phone, okay? You know your husband is very happy with you. Over what? David. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What about David? Um, why don't we start by... Uh, talking about the car you bought for him the other day. Listen, Philip, go to hell! And for you to have the nerves to threaten me in the first place! 
It is finally over for you. Did you hear me? Finally over! Your history, Philip! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Something came up. Sweetie, you seem upset. What's wrong? I am fine. Later, I'll ask you to leave. You obviously couldn't get the money I got. If you say something came up, yeah, right. Something came up. That ogre will follow you come back the other day. Uh huh. You dare forget? Can I open gate for now? No, I'll let him in. Thank you, ma'am. I remember the last time I gave in to a man without hesitation. I hope I know what I'm doing. Hi, my angel. Hey. How is my angel doing? I'm okay, I'm just relaxing. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> Did you miss me? What is going on here, Mike? Well, um, I was just thinking that uh, I want to come and tell you that you are so very beautiful and you smell gorgeously. Nice. So I thought I'd bring you this little present and ask you to be my friend. Thank you. You're welcome. But only on one condition. There's a condition? Okay. Alright, bring it on. I'm ready for whatever and down for whatever. Kiss my leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just come, come to do madam. That man, that way you go, that way you go, Abino, that Abino. Now look at man. Man. So, what you want to do? I go, come out. Come out. I will not come out. I think this people they do. Jane. Yes, ma'am. Was Philip here? Philip? Yes, he came. What did you tell him? Nothing. No. He said he wanted to see you. You didn't tell him anything? I didn't tell him anything. I saw him. And he told me of your little gossip. I didn't tell him anything. No. Yes, I know. You didn't tell him anything. It was David that told him he was here. And that I bought him a new car. Jen, before I open my eyes, I want you to go in there, pick up your things, and get out of my house. Oh, please, now, madam, please, I'm so sorry, please, I'm not doing Did you hear me? I said, go in there and pick up all the miserable little things you came in here with and get out of my house. Please, now, please. Listen, please. you think you can come into my house and ruin my marriage? <laughs> you have something else going on there. If I go upstairs and I'm down and I meet you here,
Yeah, um, I was just thinking about our business, that's all. Got me a little worried. Is anything wrong? Uh, yeah, yes and no. But it's, it's nothing I can't solve. You know, it's just, it's just gonna delay me a little bit. That's the annoying part. What is it? The bank. The bank, they, they denied my loan application. Can you believe that? And I'm sure it has to do with the person I'm doing the business with because the guy wants to steal my ID. But you can't let that happen. Exactly. So I need to find the funds. I need to find the money. But I'm a handicapped. Where am I going to get the money from? Hey, sweetie. And, and, and he works with a bank. He has the money. I'm sure he will do the business before I start. I'm sorry. I wish I could help you, you know. Sweetie, you can help. You know, you could... You could go to your parents, talk to them. I mean, your mommy's daughter, come on. You know, flash a smile. Ask them, you know, if they can just pay like a pot, it's fine. I know you must have heard I come from a very wealthy family. Yeah. But you see, I'm very independent. Come on. I don't even go to them for anything. But, but listen. It's fine, it's cool. I mean, if you don't want to go to them for help, I understand. Fine. It's just been half an hour and talk to friends, bring them in the business, more people. My profit is going to be lowered. That will be better than letting somebody steal your business idea. No! More people means less percentage, less profit share, more problems. You don't get it. Listen, listen. I have 30 million naira. Now you're talking. That is a far cry from 500 million naira. I know. It's a far cry. But, you know, a little here, a little there, it's fine. It reduces our risk. And that's, that works for me. You know, 30 here, 10 here, 5 here. Come on, sweetie. It's, it's fine. Okay, um, tell me, how much money do you have? Who? Me? Oh, um, I, I did some calculations last night. Uh, let me see, after doing check and balances, I should have about... Um, about 400 million naira. Not, not cash, not cash, you know. But uh, hard cash should be about um, 10, 20 million in, in that range, there about, you know. Disappointed in Philip. You know, I have come to truly trust him. Not only trusting him, I have also come to rely on him so much. Well, it's not as if I'm suggesting you fire him. But all I am saying is that I don't want him to enter this compound again. Philip. But how can Philip do such a thing? I mean, sleeping with my house help in my own house. Which means he can use her to get information about us. And you know how dangerous that can be, especially to you. Yes. Uh, by the way, where is that foolish girl? I sent the filter thing out already. Good. You did very well. Um, as for Philip, you brought him to me. So what do you want? What do we do to him? Mm. Well, it's... You know, 